Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mark Villarreal here once again. I hope y'all are enjoying your day. Um, today I'm going to introduce you one of my favorite dishes. It's a lemon butter baked fish. It's baked fish in a lemon butter sauce. It's awesome, super delicious, simple to make. I promise you will love it, okay? So we're going to be baking some fish today and we're going to make sure it has that nice flavor that you're looking for, okay? Baked fish doesn't have to be boring anymore. Baked fish is gonna be delicious, all right? So, we're gonna start with the process. Before I get started, I wanna give a big shout out to Mr. Rene A. Flores, your DWI expert. Call him for all your legal needs. Big shout out to Mr. Rene A. Flores, attorney at law. All right, so let's get started. We are gonna need filet. You can use, you can use any filet you like, Today we're going to be using tilapia, wild caught tilapia. This is tilapia caught in Falcon Lake in uh, the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas. This is awesome, very delicious fish. You can use your favorite fish from your uh, favorite local fish market or even your fresh caught fish, any fish you like, you can use it. So we got about a pound and a half of filet. It's all filet de bone, no bone at all. A uh, pound and a half. We got about three quarters of a pound of shrimp. You can use more shrimp, but since this is the only shrimp that I um, defrosted, this is what we're gonna be using. This is some Texas Gulf shrimp, all right? So we're gonna be using some, some shrimp. Remember, it's a baked fish dish, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it a little better. We're gonna add some shrimp to it so it can, you know, give the dish a little more to it than what it originally is, okay? So after that, you're gonna need about half a cup of melted butter. I have my melted butter here. You're gonna need about half a cup, okay? You're gonna need about two good teaspoons of uh, fine minced garlic. Two good teaspoons of fine minced garlic. You want it finely minced because the chunkier it is, the less it's gonna distribute around all your dish. So you want it fine minced so it can um, distribute awesomely all around your your fish and your shrimp and it can all get that good garlic flavor if you don't like garlic you don't have to add it if you love garlic you can put more but we're putting two good teaspoons okay we're gonna need one lime one lime this is what we're gonna need we're gonna need one lime when it comes to your seasonings you can put a lot of uh, seasonings your favorite seasonings but for this particular dish these are the seasonings that is gonna make your dish super delicious so we're gonna start with some ground uh, paprika. Ground paprika, we're gonna do it with some oregano, black pepper, and like always, your salt, okay? So well, this is how we're gonna start getting your dish ready. I don't know if you can see, okay? So we're gonna add our melted butter to our bowl. Perfect, that's about a half a cup. You can use up to three quarters cup to this portion, all right? So, after that, we're gonna use about one good teaspoon of paprika, all right? One good teaspoon of oregano. This is gonna give it that nice herby flavor and taste. And then you're gonna wanna use about half a teaspoon of pepper, not too much, just a half a teaspoon. And you're gonna wanna use about a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, there you go. Now you're gonna mix everything up. You're gonna mix everything up. Mix it up very nice. It's gonna look a little Cajun-y. If, if you're familiar with Cajun food, it's gonna look a little bit like that. You know, it's gonna give that, that red texture to it. It's gonna be super delicious, guys, I promise you. You're gonna squeeze up your, li your lime, or your lemon, I'm sorry. Now, if you don't want it to taste too much like lemon, you just want it to get that nice zest, you need lemon, you need that citrus, that acidity to your fish so it can be super awesome, I promise you. So you can start with half a lemon. Remember, you're gonna squeeze it. You're gonna squeeze it into the bowl because that's gonna go into all your ingredients right there. All right? I think we're good with just uh, one half, okay? We're good with just one half. Now we're gonna add our, our fine minced garlic, okay? We're gonna add our fine minced garlic. Perfect. Add it in there. So all your, 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 your um, you can call it your marinade. Your marinade is gonna be nice and mixed up together. All, all your uh, 
all your seasonings and, and stuff like that, your, your, your stuff that's gonna use to be marinating or to, to give the, the fish the flavor, mix it all up, all right? And it's ready. It is ready, guys. All right? So we're gonna put all this aside and we're gonna get to the next step. I'm not trying to take a long time because um, I want y'all to get the point, you get through the video, and um, y'all can make it yourselves. All right, so we're gonna need a um, baking pan. I like using the glass one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put our fillets down in the baking pan. We're gonna put our fillets down. Check out these awesome fillets, guys. Check this awesome fillets. These are some awesome tilapias, wild caught. A big shout out to the Black Pro out there in uh, Star County for providing this delicious fish. So we're going to put our, our fillets inside the baking sheet. There you go. That's what it's going to look like more or less. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to add your shrimp. Um, you can put it Distribute it evenly all on top, all around your fish. Evenly, okay? If there's some gaps, put it in through the gaps too. Put it in the gaps. Put it, you can put it almost anywhere you want, okay? So this is what's looking like so far. After that, we're gonna smother this delicious fish and shrimp. We're gonna smother it with our nice marinade. This is what's gonna give the flavor to our fish. All right, check that out. This is what's gonna give the flavor, the marinade to our fish. Now, once you drop, once you drop your marinade, just um, kind of distribute all those juices and flavors all around your fish, so you can get all your fish and shrimp, and the flavors can distribute evenly, and every single bite is gonna taste the same. Right? I promise you this dish is delicious. You want to mix around the shrimp, you want to use a shrimp to kind of brush your fillets, by all means do it. The whole thing, the, the point of this is you want to make sure you coat every single piece of fish and shrimp with this awesome marinade, guys. All right, you can lift up your fish to get it down in there in between. Lift up your fish, get those juices in between. So. So it can all get nice and marinated, okay? So there we go. All right. It is ready to be put in the oven, okay? So if some of y'all are asking, okay, so what temperature, how long? Let me tell you. My oven has been preheating at 350 degrees and it is ready to put the, the, the dish inside the oven. It's ready. Now, how long? Fish does not take too long to cook. You don't want to overcook your fish where it's a little dry. You want it nice and tenderish, flaky, flavorful, juicy. You want those flavors to just burst once you take your bite, you know. So, I'd say about 20 minutes. Give it about 20 minutes. When 15 minutes is up, check it. If it's if it's still, if you think it's not done, leave it another five to 10 minutes. Until you think it's ready, the way you like it, then you take it out and you're ready to eat. All right, so we're gonna place this in the oven and um, I'm gonna show you all the final result in just a moment, all right? So that's how it is. This is one of my favorite dishes, all right? So let's see how it's gonna look now. So we have finally finished our dish. I took it out of the oven. Our fish, our shrimp is looking delicious, better than ever. So I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek of the dish. It just came out of the oven. Let me show you how it looks now. This is the way it's supposed to look, the coloration, everything. I did not overcook it, it's perfect. So it's gonna have that nice flakiness inside. It's gonna be tender. Let me show you what we're looking at. All right guys so when I was preparing the fish I forgot to include 
Before you put it in the oven, you put some uh, lemon slices on top of your fillets for that extra dizzy dazzle, like I say. All right, so that is it. That's the dish. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna place it in the plate with our sides, and I'm gonna show you the final dish. All right, we're gonna accompany it with a nice herby, with a nice herby garlicky um, rice, white rice. Remember, we're we're doing healthy. And then we're gonna do some nice, um, some some nice broccoli to it to give it a nice little finish to our dish. So that's it. All right, stay tuned. All right, everybody. So this is our final dish. This is what it has come to. This is my dish for the day. So we have our fresh steamed broccoli, our nice garlic and herby white rice remember we're staying healthy we're eating healthy and delicious not just healthy but healthy and delicious and our main course our fish and shrimp baked in that lemon garlic butter all right so i hope you enjoy the video for today and let us know what you think about my final dish let us know what you think about my final dish if you enjoyed today's video hit the like button drop a comment do not forget to hit that subscribe button everybody please hit that subscribe button so y'all can stay up to date on our future our near future videos i hope y'all are having an awesome day god bless everybody i hope um y'all are doing good and um, we will get through these tough times you know right now we're going through some hard times around the world with this pandemic going around so what a better way to pass the time than to try cooking some new stuff so i hope this dish was something that that caught your attention and i hope that y'all try to cook it because it's so delicious it's time to eat we are hungry it's dinner time guys do not forget to hit the subscribe button i hope to see y'all later drop a like drop a comment and subscribe